Absolutely. We have team coverage of tracking Hillary right now. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Carlene Chavis for the latest on Hillary. It Palm Springs is taking a beating mm. right now. Well, here's the thing. Steve and I both spent some time in Palm Springs, <laughs> so we are very familiar. When you get storm systems that are just moving through that area, it's already a wind tunnel. So she's been dealing with a whole lot of gusty winds because you basically have this big mountain range that's blocking out. Whenever we get storm systems that start to come in and when uh, they impact Palm Springs, because basically you have a north to south facing mountain, that's when you start to have a a lot of that moisture kind of dries out. But now we're dealing with a tropical system and it's something they definitely were not anticipating going into this summer moving across. So a tropical cyclone when it does come to Hillary. So now you're talking about a lot of heavy rainfall because northeastern portion of that storm system that's the brunt. That's the heaviest of the rainfall. That's also the strongest of the winds. And that's why we've been talking about the mountains in the desert being most impacted because of the track that Hillary took. Now, and if Hillary was actually moving more so out on the water, closer towards the coast, that would have been in what we call the dirty sector. So that northeast quadrant where you get the most of the rain, you get the bulk of the uh, gusty winds. But because Hillary moved over Baja and then made her way through Route, just kind of dissecting our county. So west of Hillary, we had some gusty winds picking up. We saw some rain, but most of it has impacted just towards the east, and that's across the mountains. That's across the desert, and it's impacting Palm Springs right now. When we take a look at the headlines with Hillary, we're still tracking Hillary. It still is a tropical storm. It has made landfall across San Diego and is continuing to push towards the north. So it made landfall across San Diego. Diego County as a tropical storm. We're still looking at more rain in the forecast. We've dealt with the front end of that. So the, we're talking about a uh, lot of moisture in the form of downpours. We had an isolated tornado that popped up. Radar started to show a little bit more of that signature and that's with some rotation. That was near Alpine, and so that expired with the tornado warning around 4 p.m. But we were dealing with a lot of that heavy rainfall ahead of the storm system, also the gusty winds. Now it has moved through, and so now we're on the backside, but we're starting to see that storm system rather large pull a lot of that moisture out of the Pacific as well as the Gulf of California, and that's why we're not done yet, and especially in a lot of areas that already have saturated ground have been dealing with some flooding. So we're still holding on to flood concerns in our forecasts that take us through tonight. When we look at those wind speeds, about 18 miles per hour, and that is for downtown. You're also seeing 18 miles per hour in, in the teens for Boulevard as well as for Sill Hill and Borrego Springs. Gusts picking up, and so it's out of the south towards the north. You've got 31 miles per hour, and that's for Borrego Springs. 28 for downtown. Also talking about the teens for El Cajon and for Chula Vista. 20 miles per hour currently for Poway. We had the flood advisory, and that was in a effect across the mountains. Things are starting to improve across our county, but we're still holding on to chances for wet weather and a lot of surrounding areas, including Palm Springs. Flash flood concerns also now highlighting across Los Angeles County. We're seeing flood concerns popping up. And that's because now they're dealing with the front end of Hillary. We're dealing with the tail end of it. So we're still talking about some trailing moisture right behind Hillary that's impacting us across the county, just not as heavy as it was a couple of hours ago. We're still seeing some more moderate rainfall across North County, stretching out towards the mountains and even for Borrego Springs. But you're looking towards the South Bay where it's a little bit lighter and you're seeing that from Del Mar stretching all the way towards Pine Valley. So we already have those slick roads out there still holding on to a chance for some rain. We'll set the clock in motion coming up. But by tomorrow afternoon, things dry out. Temperatures will be below seasonal, and then it gives us enough time to dry out entirely as we stay with those below seasonal temperatures and some sunshine in the forecast that takes us into next weekend. Back to you, too.